This is Dorothy Simon sitting in for Jim Lakey over here at Cable Channel 3. And you can get us 24-7 at sandylandcenter.org. And we service the St. John and Maxwell areas. And um, we are located on the south side of the square. And come by and visit us any morning. And I'd like to invite you for a nice, uh, stimulating cup of coffee. I'm actually sipping on one this morning. It is so good. So see us anytime you wish. And our weather for today, Monday, January the 26th. Um, from the National Weather Service, the headline news is the major nor'easter set to affect all of the um, eastern corridor. Um, this northeaster will go through um, until Wednesday, and this system will be responsible for heavy snowfall and strong winds, winds with blizzards possible along the coastal areas from New Jersey all the way up to the Canadian border. Winter Storm Juno, as it is called, will bring heavy and prolonged snow and high winds affecting some areas um, for more than 40 hours at a time. So it's expected to bring a lot, a lot of snow. I know the wind here yesterday was quite strong, so I just can't imagine the wind with the snow, but it's coming to the people in the northeast. But right now in the square, on the, it is right at the 52 degrees, and the skies are bright and sunny. It's very pleasant right now in St. John. And today, for today, Monday, it will remain sunny with the high near 70, and the wind um, coming from the northwest at 10 to 70 miles per hour, the humidity at the right at 46. Later on tonight, Monday night, the sky should remain mostly clear with the low around 36 and the wind dying down to 6 to 8 miles per hour and the humidity right at 68%. Tomorrow, Tuesday, it should be sunny with the high near 71 degrees and the wind coming in from the west at 5 to 14 miles per hour and becoming southerly in the afternoon and the humidity right at 50%. And tomorrow evening, uh, Tuesday night, it will be mostly clear with a little low around 40 degrees. The wind coming in from the south, 10 miles per hour, the humidity right at 64%. Wednesday, uh, it should be sunny, becoming windy later on in the day. The high should reach right at 71 with the wind coming from the northwest at 20 to 30 miles per hour, and the humidity right at 46%. And Wednesday night, the sky should remain clear, but it will get a little bit cooler right down to 39 degrees Fahrenheit, and the wind at 70 miles per hour. And the weekend should be fair. Friday, we might have a slight chance of snow, a 20% chance of snow and rain or s some precipitation, but it will be mostly cloudy with the low at 28. Um, with a daytime high of 48. Saturday it would be cloudy. The winds would be coming in from the north, 15 to 25 miles per hour, the humidity at 63%. And Saturday night it cools down to 22 degrees Fahrenheit, and the wind coming in from north northeasterly at 5 to 10 miles per hour, the humidity at 49%. Sunday though it should be quite sunny. Sunny. Um, and clear, the high at 47, the wind south southwesterly at 10 to 20 degrees, and the relatively humidity right at 40 percent. And Sunday night, we should see clear skies, the low at 29, humidity at 67 percent, and the wind moderate, about 12 miles per hour. And today, we just want to tell you a little something about sleep and uh, Alzheimer's. Um, a bottom line health magazine recently highlighted a long-term study of um, initially healthy people who were over 70, 65 years old and that study found that those who slept the least 
uh, about five hours or less without waking tended to have fewer neurons or brain cells in the part of the brain that controls sleep. And also, many on in the study who developed Alzheimer's disease were those who had fewer neurons and less sleep. The project to protect our brain then, we need um, to keep our neurons healthy and get a good night's sleep. Uh, sleep provides numerous um, benefits. It improves memory, it makes you live longer, it curbs inflammation, and uh, that uh, is the underlying cause of some chronic diseases. It spurs creativity, it improves athletic performance, it improves grades and learning um, ability, it sharpens your um, attention span, and it helps you to maintain a healthy weight. It lowers your um, stress, it lowers your blood pressure, and it helps you to avoid accidents and falls. And so, uh, if you're making new resolves, make it one to have a good night's sleep. Make get more sleep and you resolve. And if you think you have a sleep disorder, then certainly seek um, treatment for apnea and other sleep disorders. But get a good night's sleep. It's healthy. Just want to remind you to mark your calendars. Mark your calendars for birthdays, anniversaries, and some community events. Yesterday was Mary Jaden's birthday. Today it's um, Joanna Stanford's birthday. Um, tomorrow, which is the 26th, it's Trinidad Garcia's birthday. And on Wednesday, the 27th, it's a Conrad Waddle's birthday, it's Barry Bennington's work, birthday, and Pat Hicks. Friday, we want to wish Nick Garcia a happy birthday, and on Saturday, it's Laura Rodemill, and on Sunday, Andrew Meters. So lots of birthdays this week, so um, remember to give these people a call or wish them happy birthday when you see them in and around St. John. Mark your calendars also for Wednesdays. Wednesdays over at the um, St. John Recreational Center, they have cards and a rummy cube on Wednesdays. And the cards and rummy cube at the senior center, they always have popcorn and um, that goes with it. And I want to remind you that the exercise equipment is always available, it's right there if you want to come over and cycle. And the Sunflower Center is open from 9.30 to from 9.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. Monday through Thursday and it closes at 1.30 on Friday. So always on Friday, Wednesday there's something going on at the Senior Center. But also this Wednesday, they are um, sponsoring a trip to the Sternberg Museum in Hayes. Uh, the bus will depart the Witt Center at 8.30, arriving at Sternberg at 10 a.m. And they will lunch at Dallas Diner and Brewing Company downtown. And the bus will return at 4 p.m. The cost is just $10 for transportation and $6 for the museum. And then you pick up lunch for yourself. Call over the center at 620-549-6549 for more information or to make reservations. That promises to be quite an interesting. Um, I think they have some new exhibits at the um, Sternberg Museum that is worthwhile seeing. And mark your calendars also for Saturday. On Saturday, the United Methodist Men, the United Methodist Men in Stafford, they will be holding their pancake supper from 5 to 7 p.m. Uh, the free will offering feed will be held at 218 West Stafford Street, 
and the money that they collect from this um, affair will go to support the United Methodist Men uh, Missions and Ministries. It's nice to see the men um, doing that for the services of the church. I uh, just want to remind you about the weekly menus uh, over at the Maxville Center. Today they are serving up um, Salisbury steak with mashed potatoes, gravy with spinach. And uh, tomorrow they will be serving up pulled pork with sweet potato and green beans. And with a fruit mix and mandarin oranges. And on Wednesday, they will be serving up a chicken parmesan with a pasta salad, carrots, and of course, there's always uh, salads and tea and coffee that goes with the meal, and plenty of it, very healthy. Over at the um, center here in St. John, today they're serving a pork fritter uh, with hash browns and corn and they have a brownie for dessert. And tomorrow they will be serving chicken enchilada with um, rice and breaded tomatoes and um, bread and butter and applesauce. And on Wednesday we'll be serving a roast turkey uh, with turkey gravy, baked sweet potato, baked squash, and a roll. Sounds very appetizing and healthy. So remember, if you do need a meal, call either of the centers and they'll be happy to provide that for you. We have good volunteers in our community who have signed up to deliver these meals and they're always healthy. And just, I want to share a thought for today with you. And it is to know one another cannot mean to know everything about each other. It means to feel mutual affection and confidence and to believe in one another. So we just got to trust in each other and believe in each other. Have a great day and enjoy the rest of the afternoon. This is your story. This is your story. This is your story. This is my story. This is my story. This is my story. But most of all, this is the greatest story ever told. This is God's story. This is God's story. This is God's story. I know you're going to enjoy the incredible journey you're about to embark on. The story is brimming over with tales of mystery, intrigue, adventure, of love, heartbreak, and triumph, of power, of struggle, and finally, of redemption. But remember, the Bible is not a hundred ancient, unrelated paintings, but a mural all knitted together to tell the story of God's great love for us and the extent to which He will go to get us back. I know you're really going to enjoy and appreciate this wonderful experience as you fully explore how we all fit into the greatest story ever told, God's story. This is God's story. This is God's story. This is God's story. I'm Ray Davidson, pastor of First Southern Baptist Church here in St. John on the corner of Second and Exchange. We would like to invite you to come and join with us as we look at God's story, the story of God's interaction with man. We'll begin on September the 7th at 9.30 a.m. with a 9.30 a.m. with a worship service followed by at 10.30 with Sunday School. This is a study for everyone in the family. All of the children, young people, adults will be studying the same lesson so that we can talk about it at home as we go through the week. We invite you again to come and join us on this 31-week study of God's story and man's story.